Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show how I created that conjuring sheet scene in Blender. Open up the Blender, and delete all these objects, and add a plane. Rotate it so that it faces front. Now hit Ctrl R, and rotate center mouse wheel up, to give some loop cuts. Select all the vertices and slide down it, so that the pivot point is on the top of the plane. And add some more subdivision. Place it about here. Now add the model, which is going to be our collision. Place it close to the cloth. And maybe scale it down, shorter than our cloth. Select the cloth, go to edit mode, and select these vertices and add the vertex group called Pinning. Now add the cloth property. From the preset select the cotton. Select our ghost model, and add collision property. Now we have to add a force field for the wind. Place it about here, rotate it a little, and increase the strength. Hmm. Our cloth is falling down. So assign the pinning vertex group we created earlier to the pin group. Increase the wind strength more. Still very low, increase it up to 2000. Enable smooth shading. Now I am going to change some cloth settings. Quality steps to 12. Under stiffness, make tension compression and share to 5. Lower the bending value. Collision quality to 6. It's OK for now. Still the wind is very low. Increase strength to 5000. Place it about here. Here I added some keyframes to the wind, some position keyframes and some strength keyframes. At this point, cloth will be disabled from the pin, and it will cover the ghost. And about this point the ghost vanished, and our cloth will go to hit the wall. Speaking of it, let's add the wall. Add a cube and scale it and place it little far from the ghost. This object also have collision property. Now we have to look how we can keyframe the pinning on and off. For this add another vertex group called empty. Make sure it has no weight assigned. Now go to the modifiers tab, and add a vertex weight mix modifier. And place it above the cloth sim. In vertex A, assign the pinning, and in B, assign the empty. Vertex set to all, and mix mode to add. From add, we have the pinning enable, and if we set mix mod to replace, the pinning will be disabled. So we will keyframe the mix mode option. Now go about here on timeline, where our wind faces the cloth. At here, we add the first keyframe. Set it to add, and hit I, and then go to the next frame, set it to replace and hit I again. So we get these two keyframes, of on and off. As you can see, the pinning is enabled here, and here the pinning got disabled. Our cloth is again falling down. So at here, we reposition our wind. Scale down the model, if you want. Here you can see, the cloth is merging to itself. We have to enable self-collision.
Now it's okay. At about here, we want our ghost to disappear from the collision. For this you have to keyframe this object collision checkbox. Hit I, to set a keyframe, and on the next frame add the disabled checkbox keyframe. One thing I want to mention here, keyframing the object collision is very buggy in Blender. Here you can see the bug, cloth doesn't collide. To fix this you have to add another keyframe in starting position also. And clean up the file as well. Now it's working fine. But after collision disabled, our cloth goes really slow. I am repositioning the keyframes of collision, according to the wind position keyframes which I had done. But here I am going to increase the wind strength. Now the cloth going up as I want. At this position, our cloth will have to go up in the sky. So to do this, I am duplicating the wind and place it about here. Deleting its own keyframes. And increasing the strength more at the ending, and zero from about here. Now cloth is going in good direction. Now it's time to add the collision back, so that the cloth can interact with the wall. On this frame, add a keyframe and on the next frame, add another keyframe, with checked collision. So that our object collision re-enable when the cloth is going to pass the wall. As you can see the cloth is colliding on the wall just as we want. Now bake the cloth simulation. One side note here, the collision keyframing is very buggy. If you are not able to fix the bug then you have to save and restart the file. Our bake is done. To see better, hide the character from the viewport. It's looking good. Now you can add the subdivision modifier after the cloth sim. Now add a camera, place it here in front of the cloth. Add some keyframes as you want. This is the basic movement of the camera. To make it like, handheld, you have to go to the graph editor. And add a noise modifier on the XYZ position keyframes. Play with the scale and strength setting which suits you. Copy the modifier and paste it to Y and Z keyframes also. To finalize the scene, add a house, trees and ground. Add some bushes, plants and also some grass. I have also added a secondary cloth, which is pinned the whole time. You can see these ropes here. These are also having the cloth simulation. It have a vertex group as you can see. This is the weight here, in red color, this used as pinning of the cloth.
So this is it for this quick tutorial, please hit a like if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more.